I did not receive it because I was actually out of the country. How would I receive it and know about it? It's your responsibility, ma'am, to provide a valid address. American Express National Bank versus Wafa Hamad, case number 22C3025. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. John Witte, P66880 for plaintiff. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hamad Wafa, please unmute your device and state your name. Hello, my name is Wafa Hamid. Thank you. All right, we're here um, on your objection to the garnishment in this particular case. And um, she's alleging that she never opened this account and that um, she has a police report regarding this matter. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I never opened this account. Counselor, I am in receipt of your brief in response to this, um, which you're indicating that, well, anyway, I'll let you make your arguments. Well, yes, Your Honor. As the court's aware, um, MCR 3.101 K1. Uh, an objection to garnishment can't be used to attack the validity of the underlying judgment, <clears throat> which is exactly what defendant is doing here. Um, she hasn't brought forth a valid objection under the court rule. The judgment was entered um, back in March of March 14th of 2023 and mailed to the defendant at the address that she included on her objection. Um, <clears throat> so the judgment was validly entered. The judgment is still good. It has not been challenged, properly challenged. Um, so the, the garnishment was validly issued. Um, and therefore, Your Honor, there's no objection, uh, legal objection before the court. So we would ask the court deny it. Um, if she wants to challenge the, the judgment, there's certainly a process to do that, but that has not been done, Your Honor. I will also just note that my client did conduct a fraud investigation and they found no evidence of fraud. So they have asked us to continue to, to try and collect. Thank you. I appreciate the last bit. That was about, that was what I was about to ask you about. Um, because and if I not, I'm still talking now, because if there was a fraud, then that, that's an issue for this court. Um, in this particular case, this, this action was started uh, back on um, back in January of 2023 and well actually you were served in January of 2023 they say they served you by registered mail and certified mail um, to a moment give us an address same address to the same address that are on your objections here. Why, why didn't you respond way back then, ma'am? Ma'am, I live outside the country most of the time. I come only if when my mom is sick or if I have short work that I do in here. So... I have a proof that I was out of the country. I never applied to this. I am not even aware that somebody applied this and used it on my behalf. So that's why I, I have this objection. And if they're saying they sent any mail, I did not receive it because I was actually out of the country. How would I receive it and know about it? It's your responsibility, ma'am, to provide a valid address. And so if that's the address you're using, then you have to check your mail. But ma'am, this I never applied for this credit card. I never used it. I'm not even aware that there is American Express. All right. I have well, the court rule says, ma'am, that if you have been provided with proper service, which you have been provided with proper service since that's the address that you're still using at this time, then you become responsible for that when you do not respond. I'm sorry, go ahead again. The court rules say that when you are validly served at the address, that you are using, then it is considered proper service. 
So if you don't respond, then you're liable for the debt. But I wasn't in the country, ma'am. I, I heard you say that three times. My response is still going to be the same. All right. Anything else you want to say regarding the objections, ma'am? I, I did not do these charges. I never applied for this card. I, I even I have my passport that it shows when I enter this country and when I leave. So I don't know what to do with this debt. Something that I never used. I applied for fraud. Yes, I went for the police station as I followed the rules of whatever they guide me when I, they told me about this dispute. And I am just waiting. What should I do next? Ma'am, this dispute was told to you back in 2023. The date that you filed for fraud was not until this year. So that is the problem. Ma'am, because I wasn't here, how would I know? I never even got anything on, because my credit cards, I go paperless. I don't go with mail. I have only two credit cards that they are mine, that I use. Anything else, I don't receive mail at all. All right, thank you. Anything from you, Mr. Witte? No, Your Honor. All right. The most the uh, order on the objection is denied. The uh, the ruling is uh, the 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 argument being made by the def defendant is not valid based on all the reasons I place on the record. Thank you, Your Honor. And there was a proposed order. It's the very last page of the response. Thank you. I'm signing an order. Thank you, Judge. Have a good day. Welcome. Have a good day. Oh.